Hello everybody and welcome to today's Destiny video. So this video is going to be all about treasure keys and the events, the Queen's Bounty events and this heavy pike as you can see on screen right now which is really really fun to drive. Um, I found it in this little cave as you saw there, that's the only time I've ever seen it. In fact I've been doing this all last night, I was doing it for hours last night just farming the chests which by the way I regret, I'll get to that in a minute though. Um, but as you can see, um, a public event and a um, House of a Queen's Bounty event happened at the same time. So my friend Finn, he, he, great thanks to him by the way for helping me with all this stuff. Um, he was doing the House of Wolves thing while I did this, just so we can get it done quickly. Um, so we could both get rewards for it. Because I was trying to go for um, one of my last Grimoire cards, which was to get um, patrol missions, any of the actual public event missions. So, I was trying to destroy this. I think somebody else is actually helping me as well, because obviously, I don't think a pike would be able to do all this damage. If it does, then this pike is OP as F. So, after I finished this, I went to do um, the actual House of Wolves event. I think I get the, the actual win Winter Walker down quite low um, before I go, but I don't stay for the whole thing, because I realise that this guy is here to finish it off, so... Um, actually, yeah, he just died anyway. Um, so now I go over here, and if you press... RB or L, um, LB on the Xbox controller um, or R1 or R, um, L2, L1 on the PlayStation controller then it pops out the little um, the little ball things, do you know like what um, the, sk the skiffs do? The, sk the skiffs pop out the little blue ball things sometimes when you're underneath them and that's what this one does as you can see every time you press that button it does it when I first saw, some saw somebody on one of these pikes um, I thought that the LBM was just really bad at driving it, but it's not. It's actually quite difficult to aim those little blue things. Like, I kind of got the hang of it here, um, aiming it at where the people were dropping, but that's that's just different. It's, it's just a really fun vehicle to try. If you're ever on on Venus, just tr give it a try. It's really fun. Now, let's get into the farming now. So, as you can see, I'm doing the Venus farming area. Now, I've already done the bounties, obviously. Now... I realised, as well as a hell of a lot of other people, that you can get treasure keys from these chests that drop after you finish an event. Now, you can actually farm these, and if you are quick enough, you can get two, or even three sometimes, as I'll show here, out of one chest. Now, this is manipulating the timing system, but it, it's just something you can do, and why not take advantage of that just before House of Wolves? Get all the treasure keys you could possibly get your hands on. It's just take it will take way too long to do it each individually. Also, the only problem with this farming method is you kind of got to deal with all of your characters filling up with engrams. Now I have um, 92. I think it's 92. I think maybe even more than that. Maybe 95. I have 95 rare engrams and two legendary engrams from all this. So you can see here, I just got a, my first treasure key. Um, now, treasure keys are used in the Prison of Elders, and we don't actually know what exactly they're for yet. So, I guess we'll have to find out if they're, if they're vital or not. I know there's something to do with a loot room at the end of Prison of Elders. Um, we don't know if you can like activate a key early and then get into the treasure room quick or not. But I, I don't know if that will actually happen. Either way, let's get back to the farming thing. So, on Venus, the Ember Caves and the Citadel are right next to each other. As you can see, I'm going through the Citadel to actually get this to respawn. Um, if you go to the next area on the map, then the the box kind of counts as it's a new box. So, if it, as long as you just tip out of the area and come back in, you should be fine. So, in a second, after I finish this second, this third chest, I think this is? Yeah, so you enter the Citadel. Exit sit now. Obviously, you can see I've still got 25 seconds left. So this is the last chest. Um, I get this is three chests now, and you get tons and tons of stuff. I have over 600 spirit bloom from doing this. That's insane. I don't want 600 spirit bloom. You got to help me, guys. So as you can see, I just got two treasure keys. Now, don't let this fool you. Treasure keys are rare. Now, me and Heretic Hot Dog, my friend Finn. We, have been, we did this for literally, I would say, about four hours? Over four hours, at least four hours. And we got, he got three treasure keys, I got two. Um, so, it, 
in my opinion, it's worth doing just for the curiosity. If if it is worth getting in the end, and then they take away this this thing out of the game, then we've got an advantage. So that's not something worth it, worth looking for. So the reason why Venus is so good is because there's two events here, as you can see. Um, so that is all I, that I can show you for this video. It's all I recorded. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, subscribe. If you love it, then just comment all that jazz, and I'll see you in the next episode. See you later, Guardians.